Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I just want to uh, share with you what I've learned about the mechanics and the controls of these blood stalkers. Alright, so before we get into it, if you enjoy this video, if you find it useful, do give it that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for other content. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, uh, walking on the ground. You can, of course, walk forward and, you know, backwards, and you can sprint with your regular sprint button, and you can crab side to side, or strafe side to side like this, like a crab. Like the crab in the game doesn't, but you can do that with this. Yeah, it's pretty cool. All right, secondly, you can even pull out a tool like this, or a weapon, and it will go into this kind of mode here, and you can use it like that or shoot it and kind of walk around like this all right and pushing the spacebar jumps like this you can even do a double jump by pushing the spacebar twice like that okay and further you can hold the spacebar and it forms into a power jump and you can even push the spacebar once again and do another double jump which is awesome okay and lastly once you're in the air, say I jump like this, I can push my melee or pistol whip button, which for me is my middle mouse button, and I can form into a very slow falling, yeah, parachute falling uh, speed like that. It's very useful because even if you're going quickly, say like this, okay I'm going quickly, now I can do it and it acts as an air brake. Okay, furthermore, again, uh, when we're on water, I can use, I can swim like this, uh, swimming like this, or I can push the X button and it will pop up on the water surface and float along its surface like this, kind of like a hockey puck. If I want to sink below the water again, I can push the X button again and kind of flail around in the water. Okay, and lastly, before we get into the zip lines, both of those that I just showed you will cancel your zip line. So if I have a zip line here, so I've just attached to that rock, and now I kind of can't move around because I'm zipped to it. If I push the X button, it will pull in those zip lines. Okay, cast my zip, can't move. If I click the uh, middle mouse button or the melee pistol whip, it sucks them in again, and now I can move. Or say I'm like tethered to some rock like this and I'm kind of dangling around helplessly, annoyingly, and I just want to I just want to get down. Just yeah, cancel it like that. You know, you can you can do it either way, either the X button or your melee pistol whip button. Okay, let's get into some zip line action now. Okay, so let's um what we're gonna do is we're gonna grapple ourselves to this rock and cling to it. Now this is probably the trickiest part of the whole bloodstalker movement thing. Okay, what we want to do is I can use the right, the left click, which is a single line, or the right click, a double line. It doesn't matter at this point. Okay, what I'm going to do is jump, click, and reel myself in, and hold the space button about when I'm hitting it. So as I'm impacting the rock, I will hold the space button. Hold it. Bef just before you get to the rock and continue holding it until it latches on okay and this will also cancel any lines now you're not lined to anything you're gripping it with your feet and you can just jump off like that with the with the jump button okay one more time now I, I'll just use the right click I'm just gonna hold the right click it'll zip me in spacebar hold and I can grapple onto a rock Okay, and I can climb around it like this. It usually helps to use the sprint button to climb a lot faster. Okay, let's use the left click button to feed. Uh, this can heal your creature as it, um, I think it heals about the same amount as force feeding it meat, but you can heal yourself while you're killing a creature for meat, I guess. So if it's got the uh, small pink circle, around the creature like that, that means this is a creature you can feed upon. So just click the uh, left mouse button, there you can see it's turned yellow and I got a 5 damage marker. Now if I hold that mouse button, it'll reel it in. Q 
keep on holding it until it starts attacking it like this and then you can just relax and let it do its thing oh look there's a group of raptors there oh no what am I gonna do let me uh, zip up here okay and raptor up Okay, yummy, let's get into the zipping around with the zip lines. Okay, so this is a bit tricky, it's a bit confusing. Okay, your left click sends out a single line, and your right click sends out both lines to both of those circles. The feel of them will be different. Okay, the single line is good for if you want to just use it more like a rope, like a rope swing, or like, like Spider-Man would literally swing around and kind of use wide circles to kind of get around objects, and this is quite useful. The double line is more of a, a kind of a, <laughs> you're kind of like manhandling the situation and you're getting more directional control, but you aren't getting that swing around effect as much you 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 can it it does it does do it it's just not as much however both lines are heavily affected by actually where your camera is looking so while you're swinging pointing your camera while you're holding whatever mouse button it is the left or the right while you're holding it down and reeling yourself in pointing the camera has a huge effect on where you will be going and finally, mid-swing, while you're holding that mouse button down, hitting the spacebar button for jump will launch you in whatever direction the camera is facing. As long as you have momentum going, it will launch you in the direction your camera is facing. So, all right, so I'm going to fly around this, this big uh, obelisk here with the left-click bu mouse button only, okay? I'm reeling in and I'm kind of looking off that way and jump and I've jumped off that way and I'm kind of looking off this way it's kind of fighting it do you see and I'm kind of swinging around it like this still still holding the button in and I'm just kind of swinging around it the whole time now if I look to the obelisk I will start reeling myself into the actual obelisk. See, this this doesn't quite make any sense. I mean, <laughs> it's like I'm jet, propo I'm propelled by jets right now. But yeah, it's that's just the mechanic. Okay, let's look at the thing, and now I'm being reeled into it. There we go, and I can latch onto it. Okay, jump, reel in, jump. Attach a line, let, let myself swing. Okay, now I'm just dangling and not pushing anything. Now hold the button and I start to kind of develop a motion again. Not as much because I lost a lot of momentum. Now I can hit the sprint button and, and that will start to accelerate my movement. There we go. And it reels me in faster. Okay, and while I'm holding the sprint button I really can't get that swing around effect at all it sort of just sucks me into wherever I'm actually going so it really reels you in it it accelerates you it reels you in faster and it sucks you into that point um, if you want to go to that point then that's that's great or you can just angle your camera and jump like that okay accelerating I want to go that way jump all right so there's the left mouse button um, it, it's kind of a combination between where you're going the the, the momentum you have um, how much you are reeling yourself in um, if you're using the sprint button to reel yourself closer in that will change your direction of momentum and if you start to look at the place you're reeling in that will kind of do the same have the same effect and other than that the direction of your camera sort of controls travel it's it's a balance you have to you have to get to you have to get to know it it's a balance between those things okay let's try the right mouse button so the right 
mouse button shoots out two tethers and doesn't give you as much of that swing effect as before. Okay, so I'm gonna... There we go. Okay, two, and it's it's kind of reeling me in sort of regardless of wherever I'm pointing the camera, you see? I'm kind of looking that way and I'm not getting any of the swing around effect. All I'm doing is holding the right mouse button. Oh, so this is bad here, so I just want to break that. I use my pistol whip or the parachute thing. Okay, the double line right click, I feel it it gives you a bit more, in this scenario, it's giving me a bit more uh, directional control when I, when I jump like this, I point my camera, and it, I don't know, I just feel like it gives me more control. Other than that, if you, if you hold it, it will release it once you hit something by itself. So I can say keep holding the button like this, I'm still holding it, and it will jump by itself when it hits or when it runs out of line like that and then when it finds a new location it will automatically send out a line <laughs> okay that's interesting so if I'm facing if I'm facing the object like uh, uh, okay it's hard to duplicate that but basically, yeah, I'm just holding the right-click button. I'm, I'm not releasing it, and I'm not pushing anything else, and this is happening. <laughs> so, so it's kind of, um, yeah. It's an automatic tether thing. All right, looking at this tree right here. Okay, you can see the green circle with the yellow circle in the middle. This represents my left-click mouse button, or I would say main line. The circle on the right, which happens to be on the right, it could be it could be right or left, it doesn't matter. The the yellow circle that has yellow only represents the second line that I would cast if I were to hit the right click button. Alright, so let's grapple onto this right now with just the left mouse. There we go, and it reels me in uh, to this branch here. All right, in order to get off of here, I either have to jump off by pushing the spacebar, I either have to right-click off, sending sending my two lines, or I can hit the X button, which is just basically basically cancel movement or toggle movement. Same, same button as you use to either glide on the surface of the water or underneath. So there we go. X button just drops me straight down. Alright guys, that was my comprehensive guide of the controls and movement of the Bloodsucker. I'm not a professional at it, I'm still pretty new to these things, but uh, they are pretty complicated and <laughs> it's kind of hard to describe actually, um, kind of <laughs> what they actually, what all, what's actually happening, yeah. So anyways, yeah, play around with it, see what you can do. Uh, do be careful if you get that pink reticle on one of your own tames, and you reel in that tame, it actually will eat your own tame. It will harvest the blood from your own tame and kill it. Um, I don't know how, if there's a button to stop that. Um, I stopped it by jumping off and punching my bloodsucker, and that stopped the uh, tame from disappearing. <laughs> Other than that, uh, good luck. I'll uh, hopefully catch you in the next video. Goodbye.